Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about a story that sounds like it's out of the 1950s, but it's not. There was no rock around the clock playing. Buddy Holly was not on stage. It happened in Rich County, Utah. And uh, it's at a Valentine's Day dance. Now there's two versions of events, as there often are in things like this. The student, an 11-year-old girl named Aislinn, says uh, a young boy asked her to dance and she said no. And then the principal told her that we don't say no here and made her dance with him. That's her version. The school said that nobody was forced to do anything. Yet, they do ask children to say yes. And that all a student has to do is talk to them. Okay, so those are the two versions of events. She said that the young boy made her feel uncomfortable for reasons that she has outlined, or her mother has outlined to the press. I'm not going to repeat them here because there's no way of knowing whether or not that's true. Um, and to be honest, the boy's not really to blame here. All she had to do was talk to the school. She said no. That's the end of the conversation. The school does not have the authority to give a boy the right to put his hands on a girl. There is no conversation to be had. There is no reason for a principal to try to persuade or suggest or ask that she say yes. That is not part of the curriculum. Um, things like this leave boys with the idea that they are entitled to something. And that's the reason for the policy that they don't want anybody left out. Their feelings in regards to this don't grant them access to somebody else's body. This is why they feel entitled. Now at the end of the day, the school said they will have a policy review. There's no need for that. This just needs to go away. There's no conversation to be had. She said no. Now, the upsetting part about this is that this is the last dance of the year for them. Which means they're probably not going to do anything unless there's some kind of pressure put on them because they have no reason to. It'll all be forgotten over the summer until it happens again and again. And I understand the school is liable for this. This is the policy. The policy is to grant young boys access to young girls' bodies. That's the policy. Well, to ask that it's okay. Even after, according to her, she said no. She doesn't have to give a reason. She doesn't have to explain herself. She doesn't have to talk to the administration. She said no. This is a really simple concept. Consent is, is a very basic premise of society. If you're not teaching that, what can you possibly be teaching at this school? Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.